back to another episode of Life with Keezy. Appreciate you guys for joining me. So as you can see from the thumbnail, today we talking about passports, dual citizenship, and uh, how it can help you and aid you uh, throughout your uh, professional basketball career. Before we get started, make sure you smash that like button, man. Stop playing with me, all right? There's too many of y'all watching the video for y'all not to be liking it, all right? And the duration way too long, man. Don't be a weirdo. Smash the like button, all right? I appreciate you guys. And if you haven't already, subscribe and play with that notification bell a little bit, man. It goes a long way. All right, so let's get into it. So does having two passports help you in overseas basketball? If you want a quick answer, then kind of, sort of, Sometimes, not all the time, <laughs> but um, I'm gonna give you a little bit better answer than that, all right? Okay, so first, let me start by saying that there's two ways that having dual citizenship might be able to aid you in pursuing your dreams of playing professional basketball overseas. First is the Bosman, or Bosman, or however you wanna pronounce it, tomato, tomato, all right? The second is the Contenu, Contenu, or Contenu, or Again, however you want to pronounce it, however it's pronounced, I'm not sure all about the pronunciation of Continu or Bosman because I've heard it said so many different ways. It's crazy. So, to my knowledge, all professional basketball leagues overseas have a import quota, which means that there is a maximum amount of foreign players per team in the league. Having dual citizenship is a way to kind of finagle your way into, you know, good situations that probably normally uh, wouldn't be options for you starting your career or even later in your career, um, you know, in terms of fighting for jobs with, with um, similar caliber players, it, it opens the doors for, you know, a lot of guys. So say you have dual citizenship, right? You're American, but say your mom or your dad was born in Germany. And because of that, you have two passports. You have a German passport and American passport. So because of that German passport, that means that you can play in Germany as a German player. So this gives you a better chance of getting a job. And also, depending on the situation, it also makes you eligible in some senses to play for that country's national team, which is a dope ass experience to have. So again, let's say with that hypothetical <laughs> German passport you have, right? So it not only gives you the ability to play in Germany as a German player, it also gives you the ability to play in other European countries as a Bosman player, which is dope. You know, two for the price of one. You know, it all, it, it, having passports, man, it opens up doors for you. It can open up doors for you. Not always, but it can open up a lot of doors for you. Let's take, for instance, Spain. So Spain, they allow 12 roster spots on each team. Seven of those roster spots being taken up by, by foreign players, you know what I'm saying? and five by domestic players. So domestic players being Spanish players, foreign players being players from outside of Spain. So within those seven foreign players, they're allowed two non-European uh, basketball players. So pretty much usually always being Americans, you know, for the most part. I don't, I can't think of any, any situations where they, where they weren't American players, those two imports. Then you have five Europe, i.e. Bosman, and or continue players um, to add to the mix. So that's anybody having a European passport um, from other countries within the EU um, or having a continue passport, which you know, I'll explain a little bit later. So in Spain, more Bosman players are allowed um, than import players. So it, it makes sense and it gives you other opportunities to put yourself into that market and to get in that market if you have a if you have a Bosman passport. And of course, you can play basketball at a high level. So on the other hand, the Continu rule. The Continu agreement was an agreement signed back in 2000, uh, in 2000 actually, <laughs> back in 2000, between the European Union and the 79 countries that are a part of the ACP group, which is the African Caribbean Pacific group for those people who've never heard of it before. It came into effect April 1st, 2003, and they made some adjustments, you know, in 2005 or whatever. So in a nutshell, the agreement pretty much established 
the right of practitioners of sports and entertainment from uh, the African, Caribbean, Pacific, you know, group of countries to have the same rights as Europeaners, you know, when they came to, you know, Europe. So that means if, you know, me being a Nigerian or me, you know, me having a Nigerian passport, for instance, you know, I'm just talking about myself, it gives me, when I come to Europe, they're supposed to treat me, you know, be me being a sportsman, supposed to treat me as if I were, you know, say I'm in France or a French person, or if I'm in Belgium, they're supposed to treat me as if I'm a Belgian person, you know what I'm saying, and not as if I'm an African person. They're supposed to treat me how they treat their their own, you know, residents and citizens. So there are a ton of other legalities that are covered in this agreement. I'm not gonna go into detail because I'm just telling you how it could potentially aid you in your, in your, you know, professional basketball career and further in your, bas your, your professional basketball career. So the continue uh, status is given to players from most African and Caribbean countries, similar to the Bosman, to the Bosman uh, status, but there aren't many countries uh, today who really have this rule in effect. But still, in some countries in the Middle East as well, having an African passport can be a huge advantage. Uh, you know, like places, in, like places, like a, like one place for instance, Qatar. Um, I actually played in Qatar my first year. And if not for my African passport, I can guarantee you 100% that I would not have got that job. I played as a Nigerian when I was there. Um, you know, they already had the, the import, which was American, and they brought me in as a Nigerian. And I played pretty much as a Qatari, not even pretty much, I, I was considered a Qatari um, as, you know, as a basketball player. So it, it opened that door for me to get that job. It also allowed me to make way more money than I had, you know, in my previous uh, situation in Uruguay, um, which you guys, you know, already know about. Because if you watched, you know, year one of Keezy's Odyssey, if you haven't, go on back and watch, you know, all of them. You know, don't just watch year one. Watch them all because they're all very entertaining and very insightful and informative. But back to passports. So Spain and France are two of the... Um, can't think of a better word so I just say high profile or high caliber you know leagues in which this rule um, is still in effect today um, Italy had this rule in effect as well up until about I want to say four or five years ago when they did away with it and pretty much everybody's either import or domestic player now here in Italy but there was a time when the African passport uh, could help you as well so the people who aren't you know well informed you know it might seem that you know just having a passport period could help you um you know greatly in terms of pursuing your basketball career overseas that's not always the case um it could help you yes you know depending on the passport and depending on where you go to play it could be very 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 um advantageous is that even the word I'm trying to use I don't know but it could be to your advantage all right um, it could be to your advantage in some in some aspects but once again just having a passport is not enough nigga like you need to know how to play basketball all right and you need to be able to hoop at a high level like um, you know you playing high school basketball and not playing high school, you know, and now being 25 years old and having played basketball since high school, is not, and, but you have a passport, it's not going to give you the opportunity that it might, you might think it might give you. Um, because at the same time, there are way better qualified players than you who they would rather give those opportunities to because they can actually play and they're actually proven to be, you know, good basketball players. It's... It's a fact. They have footage of it. They have numbers. You know what I'm saying? You haven't played in seven years or eight years, and now you all of a sudden, you know, you want to, you know, you watch this video, and now you're like, oh, man, like, I got a, you know, a, a German passport or a Belgian passport, you know, with my with my American passport. Maybe I can uh, finagle my way into a situation. It's possible, you know, but at the same time, it's not all that likely because, you haven't played basketball in who knows when. You don't have footage. You don't have all the other things that go into, into teams taking up, you know, giving, giving people, giving players opportunity. You don't have those. So build up those things first 
and then having that passport might really help you in terms of you know furthering your career so then there's other situations where countries um actually just give passports to to certain um players depending on the caliber of player they are to play for the national team and to help them grow their basketball on an international stage you know what i'm saying there's guys like uh jr holden he played for moscow for sesco moscow great european career and they gave him a passport. They gave him a passport, a Russian passport. Then there's guys like, you know, guys like Poo Jitter, who has a Ukrainian passport, plays for the national team. AJ Slaughter, I think he has a, does he play for Ukraine as well? Or Hungary, or one of these other teams. Um, Dante Draper, who played for Croatia's national team, they gave him a passport. Bo McCaleb, you know, one of my all-time favorite uh, professional basketball players overseas, you know, uh, he played for Lithuania, you know what I'm saying? So, but when I say these names, they're not just regular names. They aren't just regular guys. These are some of the highest caliber players in Europe, you know, and they, you know, when you gain these passports from these countries, they don't give them to you because you're just an average player. You have to be, you know, a high caliber player and been proven. So it makes sense to, to give these guys passports because you know, and it's proven from the past that they can help your, your, uh, national team organization you know further along in terms of european competition so all in all man passports can help you a lot you know in the right situation and depending on the passport but you have to be able to play you have to have a resume and you have to have an agent man who actually knows these rules inside and out and know how to put you in the right situation to be able to flourish because of this rule um so that's pretty much it, man. That's pretty much it when it comes to the to the passports. Um, from my from my experience and my my knowledge, um, it's a great way, man, to get ahead. You know, if if used correctly and know and, and the rules known about it and and knowing how to maneuver through it, it can really help you. So uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Before you get up out of here. Make sure you smash that like button, man. Smash it. Stop playing with me, all right? Smash the like button. If you haven't already, subscribe. And play with that notification bell a little bit, man, all right? Um, it goes a long way. Also, following the video, I'm going to leave in the description um, a list of all the countries uh, that are a part of the African, Caribbean, Pacific um, group. So those of you guys who have might have African passports can get a more of an understanding of if you're uh, eligible to, if you're qualified to use, you know, this tactic, you know, in, 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 in terms of helping you get a job, as well as um, all the equipment that I use to produce my YouTube, of course, um, the links, and all my at-home workout equipment that I use to uh, stay in shape during this quarantine time um, and just period you know I work out every day so I use I use this stuff every day at home pretty much so uh, for those guys who don't know where to start you know you can look at the links in my description and go from there once again I appreciate you guys and I'm out peace